Hey guys, welcome to another Block Spotlight and today we're going to take a look at yet another of the Red Power uh, Logic Gates. This time we're going to look at the AND gate. Now this guy looks a little bit different. Uh, as you can see it has three lit torches on it and one unlit torch. The three lit torches represent the inputs which is there, there and there and the one there is the output which is unlit now you can toggle which outputs which inputs are going to be operational by shift right clicking so if you do that you can pick exactly how you want it to work um, so you can see there that is literally just going to pass through but um, you can add on as I'll show you over here. Now the recipe for this guy is uh, you got four stone cathodes, two stone anodes, a couple of stone wafers and a stone wire. It's going to give you your AND gate. What you'll find is that these kind of components, these three components specifically, will uh, make up various different gates in different configurations so uh, you will need quite a few of those once you start building logic. Now to show this actually in operation you can see here we put one on, put another one on and the light isn't going to turn on until all three inputs are on. Now to toggle one of them off like that you can see the wire is broken so now this is going to work with just two and if we were to turn this one on it wouldn't have any effect and you can toggle to these two as well or these two you can basically change it however you like um, any combination to get the desired effect now just uh, another demonstration of how these logic gates will work on walls ceilings put them wherever you like pretty much um, you can also, if I find a handsaw, uh, you can actually let's not use a handsaw, let's just use a cover. You can put covers over these as well so that you can completely hide them if you uh, if that's how you were going to set up your. Um, going to set it up such that you were going to hide out under a floor or whatever you can put a cover on top like that and hide it completely so you can do that and that is the AND gate it's another one of the the more basic logic gates there is also the NAND gate which works uh, the same way but when all the inputs are off, the output is on. Uh, so it's a lot like a an AND gate and a NOT gate combined. That's uh, this one here. So if I swap that out, as you can see, the inputs are off and the light's on. You turn all the inputs on and the light will go off. So the same but the complete reverse so it's actually just like an AND gate with a, a NOT gate here uh, any questions any things that you think I've missed out please let me know uh, in the comments below hit the subscribe button and check me out on Twitch and Twitter and I'll see you next time